Hey everybody around the world, hope you're having a lovely Doomer day. It's Friday, December 15th, just made some fire breakfast tacos. I'll put the recipe in the description below. I wanted to take this moment to respond to comments and go through some polls, but first, some notable comments from three Capricorns, myself included, on COP28. Greta says that it was a stab in the back. Paul says it was nothing burgers, which I replied, but are they vegan? And I say, cancel it. Some might argue that we should have them, but what's the point if they're all subsidized by fossil fuel industry and lobbied to hell? Right. So, many of you have made some remarkable comments on my channel. Uh, people of all ages and just around the world, um, I'm continuously amazed at who pays attention and who's awake to what's happening right now. Notable Indigo McGinnis, thank you for your support this year, by the way. Uh, you said, you know, so-called Christians and so-called God believers might say, well, uh, forgive them, they do not know. And someone in my own family, that's something they said to me, but that's false because they did know, all right? Exxon knew. <laughs> and another person followed up with that comment. And um, another funny one was from, I think it was Bill, uh, mentioning that climate will continue to F us and that he might just drink himself to death. You know, your call, you know, your life. Uh, you know, I'm not here to tell you how to live and what to do but uh, this is our last stable decade and um, I had another troll which I should just ignore but it's worth noting that when someone calls me bud and they don't really know me or are in regular contact with me that indicates to me that they're really inwardly not my kind of people uh, mention that this might accrue a rate of diminishing returns to which my response is it already is the lowest diminished return that it can get it can't get much lower considering I'm talking about the greatest one of the greatest existential threats to face humanity and I don't even get barely 300 400 views on a video I know it's pretty nerdy and niche but I mean come on it doesn't, the bar is pretty low at this point. You do this because your soul beckons you to. It is, this isn't a popularity contest. It's to say that at the end of the day, my obligations were to tell the truth and uh, be a part of a community, albeit across the world, um, in this very defining moment for human existence and all life on Earth for that matter. So, not going to get too serious much more, but I do appreciate your feedback and uh, creating this content. I've made over, like I said, 778 videos now. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a ride, and I've learned a lot about myself. So I put out some polls over the past month. Many of you who use the, the app on the phone or perhaps computer uh, would see these and I, and I post the results on my social feeds. I try to keep them light and fluffy. A. Maybe the aliens come and explain all of life's mysteries before we go extinct. Half and half. Some say no, I'm too tired. The others say hell yeah. We probably start losing everything that makes our civilization function properly around 2026. Just two short years away. Two-thirds of people agree, the other third disagrees. Back to what I was mentioning earlier, COP28 is pointless, and everybody agrees. Not a trick question there. Embrace the collapse. Yes, accept your own mortality. Two-thirds of people said, yeah. One-third says, no, I'm too tired. You have crazy dreams every single night you go to sleep. Two-thirds of people don't have this experience. A third do. I think it's the trazodone I take, which 
puts me in a hard slumber, but I also have a lot that went on in my life and could be a result of some post-traumatic occurrences. Are you ready for 2024? Half and half. 93 people voted. I mean, these are hundreds of votes from you guys. Really, thank you for participating. This, this you know, entertains me and informs you that uh, we're kind of iffy. Next year's going to be rough. Did you see that trailer for Civil War? 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida. Well, you're American, okay? What kind of American are you? It's like A24 went into the future for that one, right? But that really couldn't happen because there is no state army. There's no state military agencies. They're all comprised of a national army, which we just upvoted to $886 billion or something like that, right? Yeah, but meanwhile, most Americans are just trying to put food on the table, and Canada's even worse. Like, 60% of people are just paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Are you buying Christmas presents this year? Two-thirds of people are not participating in the global craze psychosis of gift buying a social construct a norm you should follow or you will be rejected are you having fun in your life you want some more meat sauce on your plate two-thirds of people said no roughly a third said yeah need more fun in your life grab the popcorn okay mate Okay, keep going. More than 70% said, yeah. Got to keep pushing forward. You know, the world is cruel. Many will die. But you got to keep going. And I beg that you dig into your consciousness below the level of awareness and behind those emotions per se and find what it is you really crave and want in your life. For most, it's community, even family. That doesn't have to be producing offspring. It could be new family that you meet, like you guys and gals. Go and travel through India. Two thirds of people said, nah, I'm too tired. And a third said, okay, your brain hurts when you simply think about the madness of it all. You just sit there and you think, uh, and it's just so much. You know what I mean? You got everything you wanted out of life. 74% of people, 84 votes, no. Well, this is the time, this is your decade to go out and get what it is that you want. Not just what you need, what you want. To find satisfaction. Okay? So that's been the polls. I enjoy them. I like, this is my way of participating in the community and, and seeing where everyone's at around the world. I know many of you have had traumatic lives of pain and shit, as some might put it. And... I'm pretty uh pretty exhausted myself, but but you guys came through with support this year, and for that I am forever grateful. It's an honor and a privilege to have created this channel. I think I've stabilized at 1,230 subscribers. Not that this is a popularity contest, but I'm content with that. And uh, I, you know, I'm feeling like I need to maybe go out and get in some more hobbies and find and volunteer more for this time of year it's getting cold and dreary and wrap up this year you know did you have a good year that's my last question respond in the comments did you have a good year yes or no because next year is about to be even more crazy but you should reflect on this one just taking it one day at a time eager 
to leave this industrial hellscape where I live now. You know, I don't buy into that whole live in the moment thing. Like, that doesn't really help. I mean, you know, if you're having a bad time, it's because you're having a bad time. You know, the economy's in shambles, our politics are in disarray, you miss things that you once had in your life. I've had to suffer, I've had to uh, do some conceptualizing on that whole, you know, attachment is suffering thing. Yeah, you're, you're attached to some things because you enjoy them, but if it hinders your progress and becoming a better person, then you have to let go. But some things do suck to lose. And you guys saw that, and you feel it. So, not to keep you too rambling, you know. It's been fun. Not sure what I'll post, if I'll post for the rest of this month. But, uh, when I do come, when I do come back, um... We'll see where we're at. I'll talk to you later. Have a good weekend. See ya.